to x y in the front view okay so the final inclination the apparent inclination of the front view is given and its inclination to hp this is the actual inclination to hp that is good the next draw its projections if the point c is in vp in vp means uh, its top view c is going to be on x y line and then uh, the front view is 25 mm above x y so front view c dash will be 25 mm above hp so next we have to mark its traces and we have to find its true and inclination true length Okay, two and inclined lengths with VP. Yes, there is a little bit of uh, error in the grammar over here. And it's uh, true and apparent and inclinations with VP. Yeah, two and apparent inclinations with VP. Let's go ahead and uh, solve this problem. So, in order to solve this, you will, of course, have to be good with the master diagram, which I have covered in another video. The link you will, you will find in the description below. So, you can just make yourself perfect with this, because you should need to know what each point on this diagram are called. Once, Only once you are perfect with knowing all the terminology, you will be able to uh, draw with whatever input is given. And then, using this master diagram, you will, you will be able to complete the rest of the diagram. Okay, so let us focus our attention on what all data is given. So the two length is given, which means this length and this length. So these two lengths have been given to us. Then um, inclination at 35 to HP. So inclination to 35 means this is the inclination which is given to us, which means we will be able to draw this line first. Okay, and then um, appears to be 50 degrees to XY in front view. The so front view is over here. So, we have also been given the inclination, the actual inclination of this line, the final front view. Even though we don't have the length of this, we know at what angle it is inclined. So, in a way, he has given us information sufficient to draw these two uh, front views, front views and uh, the temporary front view. So, let us first draw that and then using this diagram, we should be able to complete it. So, in order to do that, we will of course need to start with the x y line. I'll just copy this over from here. And next, we have been told that uh, the point C is in VP and 25 mm. So let us now that we need a distance of 25 mm. So let's take an offset over enter. So let me just show it from here offset so offset to this here so take this offset distance that we need is 25 let's enter and click on this and click above so this will give us a horizontal line of 25 next let us go for trim command uh there go so remove this escape and delete this button by pressing delete button on the keyboard next We'll just name this point. So, name of this point uh, has to be name of this point has to be just front view and top view. The name of the line is CD. So, this point is going to be the front view C dash, and this is top view, which is C. You can just draw the dimension here, just show it. So, this is the uh, front view and top view of the first point C C dash. Okay. And next, let us see what all information we have been here. So the true inclination is 35, and we also know the true length. So this line completely we will be able to draw over here. So let's take a line command, click on this point, and uh, so type the length which is 100. Then press tab on the keyboard. Tab, you have to press on the keyboard and angle now you will be able to see so this angle is uh, 35 press tab again and you can see that both the length and the angle have been set here so just click on the screen once to finalize the point right. so this line is the, uh, the 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 true length this line is the true length okay which is temporary and the other end of this you can see it is named as uh, b1 dash 
So let us name this here because the name of the length is CT. This is going to be D1 dash. This is going to be D1 dash. Okay. So this might be a fault. Next detail given is 50 degrees. So this 50 degrees is the inclination of the final front view. So let's take a line, click here. And this time we know the angle only. We don't know the length. So just press tab to highlight the angle. And the angle is 50. So press 50. And don't press enter, just press tab. Okay. So this will fix the angle at 50 degrees. And you can uh, draw then anything. So we just have to extend this line beyond the horizontal from this line. Yeah. We just have to extend it like this. Next, uh, we can see that the locus here from this point is intersecting this line. Okay. So we, let's draw that locus. So let's draw that locus from here and we will get the intersection point. So that intersection point is what we will need. And this is the final front. So we can see both these lines we were able to get here with the given information in the problem. Now, once this is done, uh, we will have to just name this find. This is the final front end, which is D dash, which is D dash. Now, using this, we will have to complete the diagram here at the bottom. So, how to do it? So, the way to do it will be first get this. You can see that we are getting this uh, horizontal from here. So, first we will have to draw this arc to the horizontal and from this point we will have to draw a line here. Then we will be able to get the uh, true length. Okay. So, let us go ahead. Let us go for an arc here up to the horizontal from this line. Uh, so now we just have to select these two lines, go for trim command and trim command, and then click this. Okay, press escape again. So next, now that we have got this point, you can see that this point is uh, B2 dash. We already have D1 dash. Next point here has got to be D2 dash. Let's make it two. Now that we have got the point D2 dash, we can get the front view of this point by drawing a straight line. So take a line from here also. From here, draw us a vertical line. And uh, how long do we need to draw? We don't know that, but we know that the true length here intersects a little. So let's take a circle and from this point, we draw radius of 100. Radius of 100. Draw another circle, this, select this, go for trim and trim all this. Fine. So, you just need intersection point. So, let us take line command from this point. So, so this length, <coughs> this length will be same as the radius of the circle. Okay. So this is now 100. And uh, what is this point that we got here? That point has to be the top view of D2 dash. Now, top view will be named without a dash, so this becomes D2. This becomes D2. Okay. So now that we have got the point D2, next uh, let's try to get this point. This being the top view of D1 dash. Top view of D1 dash. So in order to get that, you can see that we have to draw a vertical line from here and a horizontal line from the top view. So let's draw that. So from here we got we need to draw a vertical line. From this top view, we need to draw a horizontal line. Okay. So, extra part, let us this is overlapping. Let us move it. Okay. Now, this point here is the top view. So, is the top view. So, let us uh, go for copy. Let us go here. So, this is the top view of D1 dash. Copy of D1 dash. So it has to be named as D1 alone. So now that we have got D1, we can see that we have to draw an arc from here and the locus from here. We already have the point D2. So we have to draw an arc from here and our locus from here to get the final uh, end point, the final end point of the top view. So take a circle, 
take a circle once again. Take this circle once again. From this point as center, passing through this, and then take a line and from here and draw a horizontal line. Okay, press escape, select this line and this line, take trim command and click on this circle to remove the outside part. Now this point that we got here will be the final. Okay. So once we have that, take line to draw the final pattern. Okay. Now you have to just match the properties. Match properties. You can see the match properties command is here. Match the properties uh, with relevant uh, stuff. Uh, we have a uh, product like this and let's it over here. So take match properties command and take the proper uh, Okay, so all the text has to be uh, having the same properties as the dimension lines. This will have to be this. And the final front view and final top view, they have to be the darkest. Now, the dimensions, we have to draw the dimensions only for the given data. So, the given data had uh, given us the dimension here, the true length, and it had uh, given us the angle. So Let's go for the angle, angle dimension. Angle for this was given to us. Also, angle between this was given to us. So these two angles were given to us. This length was given to us. With that, we were able to find. Okay, we were able to find uh, this point, and we were able to complete the that. Now, uh, find its true and apparent inclinations with this mask. So find the true and apparent inclinations. So in order to find that, we can just measure this out here from the If you are using manual routing, of course, you will have to use the computer. And uh, if you are having AutoCAD, it's too perfect. Dimension, angular dimension command. So this here is the true inclination with VP. And this here, the apparent inclination of the top view from x, y. So these are the answers to this particular question. Okay. And again, for, in order to get this printed, I have already explained that the printing uh, steps in another of the video. You can go there and prepare your form for printing. So we can just move the entire diagram so that it doesn't overlap with the question and it doesn't overlap with the other things. If the things similar like this are happening, we just reduce this. Once adjusted, now it is ready for printing. We can go ahead and uh, convert this into PDF. The process which I have explained in another video, link to that video, you will find in the description of this one. And uh, hope that you have understood it. If you want any more problems like this to be solved, just let me know in the comments and I will make sure that the same are solved. Okay. So, Okay. So that's it for this video. We will see you in the next video with another problem. Till then, goodbye. Print. Take window. Choose the window from this point. This point. Portrait. And uh, let's choose the option.